you know, you might be thinking, because in Australia, America, Canada, you place the purchase order to a domestic supplier, and you just you know, wait a couple weeks until it shows up via the express mail, and you don't have to work a lot. The hard part is placing the purchase order. Sadly, in Asia, placing the purchase order is the beginning of the supply chain management, not the end. You know, who's going to provide the updates? How, who's going to make sure the quality is right? Who's going to make sure that the payments rent to the, that were safely delivered? So to manage your expectations, yeah, if you're, if you're buying a commodity product, you're buying pillowcases with no customization under the brand of the seller in Asia, that might not be a lot of uh, a headache. But if you now have an idea for that pillowcase to have your brand on it, and you've got some new fabric that changes color based on the temperature of the room, you know, something new, that's going to be a lot of hand-holding required. So manage your expectations and ask the questions, you know, who's going to manage the purchase order? Um, who's going to give the updates? And it's sad, but I have suppliers that have tens of thousands of employees, a sales force of 30, 40 people, and I ask them, hey, what's your project management software? How are you going to give me updates? Who's the account manager? Well, well, the sales team. Then I ask a few more questions, and it turns out the sales team, you know, their job is to get the order, then you really never hear from them. They only give you an update if you ask. And this is in a factory with over 10,000 employees. So, you know, I've used words like, well, show me your CRM, customer relationship management software. What, what's that, Mike? Can you show us how to implement that? So sometimes you have to work with these suppliers to set up a system for when we get updates, because no news is not good news, sadly. And